look, man, a nigga on road, I'm sorry, man. Hey, we're spiritual men. We ain't out here to get into no fisticuffs with nobody. But if you roll up on us the wrong way, we're gonna kick your ass, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, we out here, some nigga roll up, girl. First of all, I'm like, yo, my man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to be cool at first. I'm gonna like, yo, man, first of all, man, yo, back up. I'm only gonna say it one time. Yo, you need to back up. You nigga, yo, yo, man, you, you gonna get laid out. You gonna get laid out. You don't let no nigga roll up on you like that. What type of spirit you got, man? Shock up. You roll up, roll up on us like that, man. And you, huh, and you came to the gym. You came, nah, I came to man. You didn't come in that spirit. He came super humble. Y'all saw the video. Yeah. Did y'all see the, that yeah. video? Karab was dealing with him. Yeah. He didn't Karab roll up like that. He didn't roll up like he rolled up. Yeah, I take the land. Cause you know better, man. Yeah, you rolled up in that childish ass, friendly ass spirit. Kind, brother. But but overall, man, you got a whack ass gay spirit, and nobody wants to hear that shit. Yeah, nobody, and nobody following your shit, gay man. ass, man. So did you see his video? The music right. video? Yeah, nipple show. Man, I don't know what you want. I wasn't doing that shit in Egypt. Ain't nobody following you, man. <laughs> Yeah, guys, you got a whole class every Saturday. That was awesome, man. He teaching class, and you got to watch this nigga swish his head. Yeah, yeah. No, man. Nigga, you 215-pound praise dancer, man. No, man. No, stop. So we A pop singer. That's it. That's it. I thought you were an educator, man. You you singer. It's over. And that female you had in the video was fine. I know you ain't dealing with her, nigga. You paid her to be in that video. That woman yeah. had you. That's, yeah. a, that's a fine little piece. I don't think so. That nigga ugly. She was too pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now that sister, you that sister you had in the video was fine. Mm -hmm. She was fine, man. But you ain't that you did that because everybody ain't saying you gay, so you had to show. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. man, that nigga gay. That nigga grew a mustache. That nigga was sick. Well, that nigga grew that mustache. That nigga was sick to him. Okay. Something happened to him, man. Damn, that's fucked up. Somebody didn't mess with that boy. 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 Yeah, that boy, that boy didn't mess with that boy. He went to jail. Something yeah. happened. Yeah. Something happened to where you were fundled, man. Somebody didn't mess with that boy. You got some sugar in your tank, bro. Damn, okay. man. And we telling you. And it is what it is. And we telling you. Now, if you ever... Now, Live from Texas. Shaka out most of that, man. Now, if you ever see us, you do. Roll up on us and, and jump on our face. We come in a faggot. Ain't nobody hearing that shit. <laughs> bro, on, man. Yeah, you sweet, cuz. Yeah. And the <laughs> way you... Go ahead, go ahead. Let me read it. I am not founded by secret search, but upon all these. Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Why gaddest thou about so much to charge thy way, to change thy way? <coughs> thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, and thou shalt wait up, uh, and thou shalt waste ashamed of Assyria. The Most High gonna crush all that shit. Yahweh yeah. Shai gonna crush that whole philosophy. The actual Egyptians and the Syrians, they gonna be in slavery right. under us in the kingdom. Right. And Egypt ain't never cut in coming back into power. Yep. Egypt ain't coming back into power, man. Yeah. And you guys in the kingdom are gonna be ashamed that y'all was believing in the scripture said you're gonna you're gonna be ashamed, man. Yeah. That y'all was following that shit. Yeah, man, yeah. because man, everything y'all say is just old bull or some old bullshit, man. You have this guy. Polite sitting down with uh, the gorilla Hebrew talking about mitochondrial DNA. Now they keep running back to this point about mitochondrial DNA and how you can use the uh, mitochondrial DNA to trace ancestry. It's fallible. That but, shit is but, all fallible, but, man. But let's 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 go. Let's let's say that it's not fallible. So fucking what? That you're not understanding the essence of what we're saying. We're saying that the man carries the essence of the seed. Of course, when you plant a seed in the earth, it's gonna take on that the part of the earth, if you have a red delicious apple and you plant it in Mississippi, and then you go plant one it's over in Europe, those that same apple seed is gonna carry different That's characteristics right. depending the on the earth that you put it in, man. These women are nothing but incubation. They're nothing but earth for the seed, man. That's it, man. Yeah, the, the apple might have a different color, tint, certain different characteristics, but it's an apple. It's an apple, okay? There's brothers that look like they mom, man. There's brothers that's gonna have features and personality features of their, uh, of their mother. Okay. We're not dis we're not saying that, that the happens. woman is not bringing nothing to the table. Yeah. What we're saying is that the seed is dictated by man. The yeah. essence of what it is right. is dictated yeah. by that the thing man. That's swimming to that All egg. All right. 
came from the man, the ball set. That's what initiates the spark. That's right. All right, and it's a spiritual thing, man. Right. It's a spiritual thing. Okay. So the miss me with the mitochondrial DNA. That is not attacking the essence of what's being talked about. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> That's just something for you to sound smart, man. We all know about that shit, man. Okay, it's not nothing new and secret and so freaking faint of, of mind. All right, but it doesn't attack what's being talked about, okay? That's right. That is, I'm glad you said that, because that's, that's what it is. Hence, if you get an Israelite man from one of these tribes lay down with a Caucasian woman, and that baby comes out looking Caucasian, I mean strictly Caucasian, long hair, blue eyes, the whole mess. But the line, uh, the spirit that's in that baby, and the essence of that baby goes back to whatever his father is, an right. Israelite. Right. And the spirit, his personality, is going to be of an Israelite. Like we always say, certain people, we tell you that are, that are Israelites. Like we said, John Travolta is an Israelite, a black man. Y'all niggas said we bugged out for saying that. And uh, can I say this real quick? Another thing, if uh, when, when the Most High uh, scattered us among the heathen, in, in, in a, in a, on the flip side of that, he was actually protecting us. Because if you could just line up every Israelite on the planet, they would have been and done that. You know what I'm saying? He hit a, I said, that's what bring the mystery into the whole thing. That's man. right. It was like every single nation on the planet, wherever wherever you got land and you got people, it's Israelites amongst their people. Because that's what the Bible said it was going to be. Even amongst you. You know what I'm saying? But if every, I was saying, but if every, if every Israelite looked like uh, O.J. Simpson or Shaft, you know what I'm saying? If every Israelite looked the same, they'd have been aligned everybody up and then it wouldn't be no more Israel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's why Israel is like the sand of the sea. That's you know right, what I'm bro. saying? It's because it's, it's the sand is everywhere. A lot of people used to. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. Look, man, look, that's man. what I'm saying. Well, the majority of the people on the planet. That Adam came from the dust of the earth, man. Yeah. As, the, as the world is created and we came in, out of the waters of that, man, we are here. And there's not going to be any elimination of that. But you guys don't... You guys want us to answer your questions, but y'all don't want to hear the yeah, Bible. Yeah. You don't want to hear the the, 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 the Most so, High has a system set up in which Israel is going to always be here. Yeah. First of all, we can just really simply say Jeremiah 30, where it says the seed of Israel is going to, or 31, uh, yeah, yeah, the seed yeah. of Israel is never going to be done away with. But really, when you go into reincarnation, all nations are preserved through that system, man. Yep. And they're going to receive their, receive their reward and their judgments through that, through that uh, uh, process of reincarnation. You guys are not spiritual. You're not spiritual. Spirit of the Lord ain't, ain't well, you know, you black conscious niggas, y'all, y'all, y'all in the, you niggas are in a black, y'all live in a black hole, a black pit. Y'all spiritual, yeah, that, the, the word, y'all and spiritual should be in the same sense. Yeah, man. You niggas, first of all, y'all just in a black pit. That's what you, you're a black <laughs> pit. Okay? You guys, you other bootleg Israelite groups, y'all not spiritual. Nope. Y'all not spiritual. No. And, and, and being that you said about every Israelite looking like Shaft and O.J. Simpson and uh, uh, every Israelite looking like Floyd Mayweather and shit like that, dark-skinned black Negro, right? You guys all caught up in that. That 1992 shit, every uh, Israelite got to look a certain way. You had certain brothers coming out of school that was light-skinned, and you had brothers looking at them sideways, kind of funny. You dudes ain't spiritual at, at, at all, man. You niggas ain't spiritual at all, man. And I got some news for you. Certain people you think are Israelites are not Israelites. Because right. you like to talk about rape and slavery. The white man did rape certain black women. So you got a lot of niggas walking around out here, regular jigs out here in the street yep. that look like Jake, but they great granddaddy might be a cracker. Yeah, a lot of them. But you be quick to embrace him as a brother because he had woolly hair and all that shit. Spirit off. But the yep. dude might be a goddamn tear. Yep. His granddaddy might be a cracker that raped his grandmama, man. Yeah. You see? You get what a guy talking about popping eating my woman. Your black woman that you're dealing with, maybe her grandfather's a white man. I mean, her great grandfather's a white man. It would make sense for how much y'all niggas be cooning. Right? Yeah. Right? Most think about of that, some right? of y'all probably some huh? damn crackers yourself, yeah. man. But think about that, right? The nigga. You guys talking about us popping white women? Yeah, maybe you popping an eat of my woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you know your woman's ends? You niggas in there, you so called yeah, Israelites. You trace her ancestry back. Yeah, have you? Uh, do, do your woman know her ancestry? <laughs> right? Right. Barack, do your woman? Do you, do you know your woman's ancestry? Baloo, do you know your woman's ancestry? <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you, no, but it's a spirit. You mean to tell no, me? No, but then they'll flip it. Then they'll, no, but no, they'll, but then, yeah. then they'll, no, they'll come. 
then all of a sudden, well, no, nah, yeah, my woman's angel, like, how you know? Through the spirit, all right? Yeah, it's through oh, the spirit. Oh, yeah, but anything, yeah. You see? Yo, quickly say that. You guys are just a bunch of hypocrites, man. I mean, you telling me y'all go turn down some Kushite pussy because she ain't Israelite? Mm -hmm. no. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> you, you can see the little earth. big nasty yeah. ass over there somewhere, and he on vacation in a thick, fine ass Kushite trying to give him some pussy. He gonna turn her down? He gonna take it. He gonna take it, man. It's a bop. You gonna you take it, man. Bop. Take it. Uh, oh, hell yeah. He ain't turning turn it down. down. <laughs> He's all about it. Down. Basically, you guys. Anytime, any place. <laughs> he gonna take that pussy down. You guys are hypocrites. You guys know what we're saying is right. Yeah, it's just like the wicked, the wicked Pharisees, man. You know, they knew Yahweh Shah was the Messiah, but they said if we can't believe on him, because if we do, then the Romans will come and take away everything we got. Yep. Uh, you, you guys, y'all know that GMS is breaking it down right, laying it down right, but y'all just want to be politically correct, and y'all have that hate and envy in your hearts. Y'all worried about how the other nations are going to yeah. look at us, man. Y'all worried about how the other nations going to perceive the Hebrew Israelites. That's why you guys don't want to acknowledge the uh, Great Millstone, okay? Because you guys are so watered down and pussified with your Bill Cosby, American Israelite uh, traditional way, you can't understand the true concepts of the scriptures and you're not man enough to yeah. stay in the lane of what the Bible is putting up uh, yep. the vibration that the scripture should be you gotta be a man. man being this true yeah. you gotta be a man, you gotta be yeah. a man, man. Yeah. oh and Bill Cosby you gotta be willing to stand the hell up and speak the truth and Bill Cosby's a rapist yeah the guy that y'all patting yeah. yourself after they got him now he man. got caught giving bitches Mickey sliding bitches Mickey's and why else should you have to do that? <laughs> Which I don't believe that shit. Molly all the hell I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's true. He's a nigga. A nigga will do that. But why would you have to? You rich and famous. You don't got to break no man, woman. Man, they was all doing coke together. Just yeah, having man. fun, having sex, man. Partying and fucking, man. Yeah, yeah. He's holding Bill Cosby's mind. supposed to be the drug-free good no, comedian. No, man. That nigga's a freak. That was when Uptown Saturday Night came out. Him yeah, and Sidney Poitier was fucking in. them hoes. They were getting it in, man. They were getting it in, man. Then talk about Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. He, uh, uh, he always reprimand Richard Pryor. Yeah, see, I'm not that Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy. He's always he he he's, he was reprimanding Eddie and Richard talking about they too dirty. Doing the here. same thing. But he was licking toes. Kind of shit. Yeah, man, he's sucking toes. Yeah, man. Watch. Let's read this real quick. Jeremiah 31 and 35, Thus said the Lord which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea uh, when the waves thereof roar, and the Lord of hosts is his name. Uh, if those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation and before me there, forever. Man. They're still there. Still have you you want to worship the sun, but the scriptures is telling you when you look at the sun, that means that the nation of Israel, the that's an indicator that they're still here, man. Yep. And then it gave indicators of, of, of what how we would be raised up in the last days. Yep. If I can get one precept after yep. that, okay. And then you know yep. back to you. Because I was going to hinge on this. I want to hinge on this point. It said that the seed of Israel yeah. was going to continue yeah. should these ordinances keep going. Right. Or, or, or the seed of Israel will cease from, from existing if yeah. those ordinances should go away. Meaning right. the sun doesn't come up anymore and the moon doesn't come up anymore. If that happens, then Israel will be gone. But since those things are still happening, we know that the seed is still carried on. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. <laughs> I myself also am a mortal man like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man. Seed of man. The, the seed of man, once that seed touches that egg, it is given a spirit, man. And that spirit is gonna dictate the nation, man. Of that, of that, of that, of that flesh that's gonna be born, man. But the spirit controls everything, man. But it's through the seed of men. That's why the seed of Jesse, the root of Jesse. That's why it goes through the genealogy in Matthew because it's about the men. Yeah. <laughs> they carry the essence, man. Yeah, man. But in, in, ingrained in your DNA code, as far as that flesh goes, yeah. you pulling certain genetics from yeah, your mom. Of course. Yeah. Of course, man. You're inside her womb and being nourished in the, inside of her womb, man. Yeah. You're going to take on that trait. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to take on certain traits, man. Yeah. My yeah. children are different, man. Right. 
but my wife was in a different spirit right. during the time that she had my daughter and from the time that she had my son. When she had my daughter, she was eating nothing but grapefruit, fruits, every day was happy. It was a great pregnancy, she didn't have no pain. So my daughter is exactly 